Now that you know how to access the homepage, we are going to proceed to the subject guide created for your course. The librarians of SUNY Adirondack all have liaison areas they are responsible for, corresponding to all of the subjects taught at the college. Librarians are responsible for creating subject guides for their areas. These guides, guides contain links to the best databases for research within that subject, suggested books from our physical and ebook collections, and other resources that will help you complete research projects within that subject area. To access the subject guide, also referred to as research guide for your course, locate the research by subject box on the library's homepage. Click your subject, then scroll until you see your class name. Be careful here to choose the Professor Hale's English 108 option, as there are three listed here. We will click into the guide. If you are feeling nervous about beginning your research, check out the research help box on the English 108 guide. Also check out the database searching tips listed briefly here and the more in-depth guide here available by PDF. If your professor has asked that you include scholarly articles, peer-reviewed sources, or academic articles in your research, but you aren't quite sure what that means, check out the Scholarly Journals versus Popular Magazines link in the research help box. If you are ready to pursue some resources towards your research, I highly recommend checking out an ebook. An ebook is not only an excellent source to support your thesis, but can help you at the earliest stage of your research as well. Virtually flip through a few ebooks to find keywords to search or a direction for your research to proceed. Mouse over the little I to see a brief description of the topics treated within a particular ebook before you go ahead and search it in the catalog to access the full text. For a more in depth tutorial about accessing ebooks through the SUNY Adirondack Library, check out this video. If you are ready to search for articles, make your way to the Use These Article Databases box. In doing research on Hamlet, I would like to encourage you to not be afraid to use older articles and books. Hamlet has been being studied for centuries, so just because the resource you're looking at isn't recent doesn't mean it doesn't give valuable insights. Now that you're ready to proceed with your article research, choose a database you would like to dive into. Before you go, go ahead and begin your searching, I encourage you to check out a tutorial for that database, just so you make sure you know how to leverage all of the tools and features there before you begin your research. Pay special attention to how to download the full text PDF of a resource and how to grab the citation information for that resource. All right, happy hunting.